privilege. Are you driving? Well, you do spend a great deal of the year chauffeuring me around. So it's Christmas time, right? Consider this your first Christmas present. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very honoured. You notice how this is a, an incredibly smooth and uneventful drive. Five, this this is how the regular people Marsh drive. Street. It's not actually open yet. The car park is quite full. Got a little bit of time to spare, darling. You know, since it's Christmas time. Look at that. Merry Christmas. <laughs> so I like this song at Christmas. Christmas song. I'm curious how many different types of Christmas hat you actually have. Multiple. You've got at least three. It's none of your concern. <laughs> do you think the hat's too much? I do, yeah, but no. I mean, fans well, of Mrs. Beard would expect no less. How they do it here? I know this is available at limited places this year. Normally they've got a few Christmas themed challenges, but. Not in 2022. Oh, oh, thanks to Holland. I was gonna say let's get a picture in there, but I don't think you can actually reach the first thing. The step. Is it on there? Is it on the menu? Rudolph's Christmas Club sandwich. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. How much does it cost? Twenty-two ninety-nine. Looks pretty big though. Have you seen that? Looks like the same size as the woman's torso. Um, yes. Oh, you remember I was here before? I came to do the, that big giant Rudolph sandwich thingy. Is that all right? Yeah. Oh, that, yeah, that was big deal. If you, if you don't know, big deal. You don't actually get anything if you finish this, apart from you get a certificate and apparently a free dessert. So, if it, that, I mean, that's reason enough for me to do it. Thank you. <laughs> I have to put some of these up on screen. Some of these comments are hilarious. <laughs> Is that a loaf? Good spot, Tracy. No flies on you. Natural sauce and cheese, though, on a Christmas sandwich. That's a fair point. I'd smash that. Of course you would, Mike. Of course you would. Not a chance. That's a full loaf of bread. Andy Strachan, here's to you. The only voice of reason in the whole comment section. Wow, it is actually a loaf of bread. Oof, look at that sucker. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yeah, I think I could quite easily get through all of this bread. Oh man, those sprouts. You say, Mrs. Beard, how long is it going to take me? I'm going to say 30 minutes. 30 minutes? <laughs> you don't get much gravy, dude. That's like a shot glass of gravy. I don't know if she knows I'm starting. Well, whatever. Go. Um, oof, it's still pretty warm. Sausage is in there too. Gotta do those first then. Yeah, I think that is in fact a pig which hath wriggled free from its bacon blanket. But you know me. Ready, set, sausage. Oh, it's first on the agenda. What's up, Pinami? Welcome back to another episode. And of course, season's greetings to you. What are you doing watching me anyway? Shouldn't you have your feet up somewhere by now? A warm cup of mulled wine in hand, half eaten tin of celebrations by your side, watching jingle all the way on repeat. Sounds like a good way to spend it, but I'm happy you've joined me for yet another installment. I'm not gonna lie, the, the nacho cheese is killing it for me a bit. It's like the other end of the taste spectrum to Christmas food, really. I know what it is, yeah, I'm just moving back. Why would you put that in? It's not really a sandwich filling, is it? And before anyone says it, yeah, ham is a sandwich filling. Gammon, never. Yeah, this is this is gonna be the problem, I think. Yeah, I've done a few of these flaming grill challenges before, and they're normally pretty easy since they're pretty much pay to play. But I think this one could be a bit more difficult to negotiate. <sighs> I, I get the feeling she's not particularly enthusiastic about me attempting this. <sighs> I gotta say, this is not making me feel incredibly festive. I feel like the top layer is supposed to be 
something akin to breakfast, and then maybe Christmas dinner on the second layer. Ugh. Oh, it's like eating a cracker. A Christmas cracker, you might say. That's it. That's your cue to laugh, Mrs. Beard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You don't get much turkey, do you? Yeah, all right, Ebenezer. Enough of the whinging. It might not be 100% on theme, but it is the only festive one I spotted this year. And I'll be damned if I'm not gonna get a bit of Christmas pudding out of it. Finally hit some cranberry sauce. Yeah, which tasted suspiciously like jam to me. Not that I'm complaining. One of my favorite sandwiches actually is a uh, cream cheese, turkey and strawberry jam. Don't judge me. I likes what I likes. It was gratifying to finally get to uh, the festive part of the sandwich though. Until this point it's been what, eggs, cheese, gammon, sausage, bacon, and lots of bread. No stuffing in there either, seemingly, which is a bit of a letdown, I can't lie. <sighs> yes. You know Jeff, Jeff Esper? He was trying to get me to go to the World Bagel Eating Championships in January, <laughs> which is in Vegas. I said not a chance, and this is precisely why bread is just never fun to eat in large quantities. Unless, of course, you are you. What? <laughs> yeah, turn it to Sean Connery there for a second. Look, that, that's it. That's the extent of the gravy. Yeah, no, I don't know. I'm just going to stick it in. Thankfully, I've mastered the time lapse by now, so you don't have to worry about the mess. Yeah, it's a small mercy, I know, but you wouldn't want to see this in real time, believe me. What, we're 17 minutes in now? This has turned out to be a bit of an ordeal. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Why would you like? You want me to tell you? Put a little bit on the bread for good measure. Thank you. Oh. Tell you they make you work for this one. Twenty. Yeah, told you. How long did you say it take me? <laughs> There's still a lot left in this little uh, bo metal box thingy. Mm. That, that was the chair creaking, I think, or maybe the table. Definitely wasn't me though, I swear. And I think that metal box thing is called a mess tin, isn't it? 22 minutes. 22 minutes. <laughs> Come on, my little Christmas elf. Give me the Coke. Do you want this glass? Oh, yes, please. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> The roast potatoes feel like they've, they've almost got some kind of uh What did it say they were dusted with? It tastes like orange. Sage and clementine. Yeah, clementine. That's really not, That doesn't sound like it should work, but that does work. They're pretty soft too, which at this point helps a great deal. <laughs> yeah, it took a while. It took a while, didn't it? But we, uh, we finally got to something more festive than a... Uh, Life-size chocolate bust of Michael Bublé himself. Clementine rolls potatoes, that's what I'm talking about. I really enjoyed these, actually. It fits the bill for rich, hearty winter grub. And the, uh, the parsnips weren't half bad, either. So, really, the sides are the best part here. Apart from the, uh, the sprouts, obviously. <sighs> the final hurdle. <laughs> <laughs> the final hurdle. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Tell you, man. The clementine thing on the potatoes is... Is that a done thing at Christmas? I've, I've never heard that. I've never heard that before, but that's... They're really pretty delicious. Orange and potato doesn't sound like it should go, does it? Really? Although I suppose everything goes with potatoes. It does. I mean, within reason, yeah. 
We know we're there now, but uh, I'll be damned. For pay to play, this one is not a walk in the park. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> no, it's fine. I don't think I would call it good going, but I appreciate the support. <sighs> yeah, not sure where she got the 22 minutes from. We're at 27 now, 28. Um, still, we're only a few mouthfuls away. Um, just the sprouts to go now. And uh, long-time viewers will know how I feel about those things. Hope you enjoyed it. Season's greetings, and I'll catch you at the next one. Am I just getting terrible, or was that actually quite a lot of food? <sighs> oh. Fortunately, there are only four sprouts. Oh, flipping horrible sprouts. Touching cloth now, Mr. Bid. Right, this is a bit meets food, and that was, what was it called? The Rudolph. And that was surprisingly difficult. I think 30 minutes is pretty appalling. So, I mean, I was, I was having a little chat halfway through, like usual, but still, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Telling you, man, 2023, I'm gonna get back in the top 10. I mean, it was never in the top 10. I think that. I <laughs> It's, the highest I was ranked was 11, but I'll have you know that I beat three of the people in the top 10 in 2019. So, I, I, in my mind, that means I should have been in, I think I should have been 10. No, why are you looking at me like, <laughs> you're supposed to support me? <laughs> have you downloaded the uh, the Christmas song, Mrs. Beard? Of course. I, I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm still listening to Garlic Bread, the one with Pete. Yeah, because uh, that's about you, that's a love song about you, isn't it? That's why it cannot be topped. Oh, thank you very How much. Did you do? I, I think I did all right. You know, it took me a little while, but um. Smashing. Thirty-one minutes. Yeah, so I'm, I'm getting old, you know. Thank you. Thank you. Let's show that's, that's some fudge brownie. It doesn't look no, like Christmas pudding to me. It's like a slice of Christmas pudding. <laughs> 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 you should upload that anyway. You know, I'm put one of those like deeply unsatisfying pages. You know, things that irritate people. Like, you missed the Christmas pudding altogether. Oh, yeah. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, baby. <laughs>